Let's look at Restic Mount. The Mount command is exclusive to Linux currently. This allows you to browse the files within your repository directly in your file browser. So right here I have my USB drive with my media backup and I'll go ahead and open up the terminal directly here and I'll mount this back up to the desktop in the Restic Mount folders and point to the repository media and mount So now that that's set up, I can go into Restic Mount and we see folders, hosts, ID, snapshots, and tags. I'll go into snapshots and as you can see, I have all the snapshots where I can go in here and browse each snapshot, browse all the files, for example, my music, and you have direct access to all of your backup files. You can open a file, you can drag it out, restore it this way if you want. So this is a very easy way to access the files within the backup. And this creates a read-only file system and everything is categorized so if you want to browse files by host name or tags like my example tag and I have all the snapshots with the tag example. So this is a really cool feature and it's only available on Linux. I really really wish it was available for Windows but uh, I got something in the works for Windows and Restic and being able to browse your repositories. So be looking out for that. You can quit this mount by using Control C. One thing I do want to mention is for backups that include Windows shares, for example, this back backup that I created. If I mount this backup, and I know one of my snapshots has a Windows share, you can easily access paths with Windows shares or UNC names, which if you recall, you need to use the subfolder syntax in Windows in order to restore from those. Linux has no problems accessing these paths. You can go ahead and restore files from them. And that's a look at Restic Mount. <laughs>